is a test run to see about doing um, slow stitching on camera. So this is one of my 52 tags and this tag is called memory and what I'm going to do just so you can see it is that this is an antique piece of um, packaging and this is my Aunt Hattie who is, was, pardon me, um, a seamstress and I'm going to add, now that I can't find it, there it is right there I'm going to add a piece of lace. I'll go on over that and then and that will be my tag, my memory tag, and I'll cut that off. She did all kinds of sewing. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Put those off to the side. I'm going to um this is just a trial run. I like to work on this um, felt mat. Using the blanket stitch. So I'm back and as you can see that's been blanket stitched all around. I used uh, three strands of cotton and I'm sorry I can't tell you what kind of what the number of it was is I get all of the bits and bobs of um, yarns that come in to the thrift store and I just put them in a jar based on color so sometimes I can and sometimes I can't tell you what number it was so the next step that we're going to do is we're going to add or I'm going to add the lace. This is a piece of finely crocheted lace and Aunt Hattie would have done similar work. She was a dressmaker in New York City. So we're gonna put that on there and I think I'll leave this little piece down here where it is. I think it looks kind of nice. And I think I'm just going to do a running stitch to catch the um, first I'll catch this line, maybe a whip stitch to get this line held in place. The one thing about slow stitching that I like is that I can just take it out if I want to. If I don't like the way it goes in then I can just take it out. Some truck is backing up in the front yard. Oh yeah, that'll be nice. Just So I'm whip stitching around this line here. And of course I've made my yarn too long and it's gotten knotted here. There we go. And if you ask me what type of needle I'm working with, I'm going to have to tell you the same thing. I don't know. My needles all come in in the thrift store as well, and I just have them sitting on this magnet from um, Princess Auto. And whatever feels good in my hand on that day is what I use. Now I don't know what is the difference between a couching and a whip stitch, but I'm calling this a whip stitch. It might actually be a couching stitch. I don't know. Someone who cares about those things will correct me. So I think this is what I'm going to do all the way down this. So I will be back when I'm done couching this on. Okay, I am back. Now I come back before I've actually finished this because where I thought I was going to couch it down the side, because I want to catch just the edge of the tag, what I'm going to do is turn it over this way and I'm going to 
do a running stitch that just a tiny running stitch that comes up and catches the underside of the um, crochet. I'll show you here. It caught that stitch right right there so it'll catch it. Oops, sorry, I haven't got autofocus on because it keeps making weird sounds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the edge of the tag all the way down here and um, just whip stitch it from the back. I'll be back in a minute. Alright, so I have stitched three lines of whip stitching as you can or just running stitch as you can see there and on the front just there and leave it is I'm going to put the picture of Aunt Hattie on there. I don't want to run the risk of damaging like poking too many holes in here so I thought I would do a rose here maybe a rose here do three roses to put her in with in pink and I'm going to use this pink. So the first thing I'm going to do is take some fabric glue and I'm going to glue the center of this picture and glue it down to here so it stays where it needs to be. So using my fabric tack here and I just get that at Walmart I'm just going to put a little, just an sort of S down the middle of this picture. Whoops, just lost my needle and just slid off. Shoot, I'll have to go find that. And before this dries, make sure her head is up where I want it. And then place her and hold it down until it dries. Now it. So with my pink thread, I'm going to come up and I'm going to make five there's one I have no idea if Aunt Hattie, she was dead long before I was born, like the color pink, but it picks up the pink here, so I'm going to go with pink, and I like pink, and my Aunt Marjorie, who taught me to sew, loved pink. So now I'm going to come up close to the side there, right there, I think I'll come up, and using the eye part of my um, needle I will now weave around under over so that's over so that's under that's over and that's under So as you can see, it's getting a nice little rose there, under, over. This is where it gets a little more tricky. Because of course I haven't made sure all my stems are the same. So under, over, under. Over, under, 
And I think I'm going to call that one done. Push it down through the bottom, pull it up through the top, and then weave it around to knot it. So I will um, put the, I may have to put one in each corner. I'll make that decision later on and I'll bring you back when I'm done. All right, so I've got three of the roses in. Um, and I'm a, at a bit of a standstill in so much as I think I need to put a rose here as well. However, I don't think I'm going to like that, so I don't know whether I... I don't know what I'm going to do. So I'm going to leave that corner. I'm going to put green French knots in the center of these and make sort of like some leaves and see what you can do. I don't know if you can see this picture, but it's Aunt Hattie um, sewing. All right, so I will uh, get those green French knots in there. This is when I need you to be able to scream at me and say, well, this is what you want to do, Marjorie. My friend Susanna. Susanna, what should I be doing in that third corner? How do I make a nice leaf without ruining it? That's nice. Makes those pop. Oh, my goodness. And you know, at some point, this is supposed to be relaxing and meditative. I think Aunt Hattie is doing slow stitching there too in that picture. Yeah, I like that better. So here I am. We finished the tag. I've got a rose here, a rose here, a rose here, and then I've made rose buds there. The blanket stitch around the outside. And this is what the back of the tag looks like. I didn't do too bad, I didn't think. So this is my first slow stitching tag um, video, and we'll have to see how it goes. And if you want to see any more, let me know. Thank you very much, and you have a great day.